Hello, welcome to the boring lecture. Today, our boring topic is the circle. As we all know, if we have a circle centered at x0, y0 with radius r, then its equation on the xy plane is x minus x0 squared plus y minus y0 squared equals r squared, where x, x0, y, y0, and r are normally real numbers. If for simplicity we center the circle at the origin 0, 0, and set its radius to be 1, then its equation is just x squared plus y squared equals 1. And this is the equation that we are going to study today. So let's look at the equation that we saw just now. x squared plus y squared equals 1. It looks very simple. Just now we asked that x and y to be belong to real numbers. And now we want to know what will happen if we allow them to be complex numbers. And in geometry, this action has a very special name, the complexification of a circle. For simplicity, let's look at this equation by asking x to be still a real number, whereas y to be a complex number. Let's see what's happening. By solving this very simple equation, we know that y equals plus minus square root of 1 minus x squared when x is within the range minus 1 to 1. What happens when x is outside of this range? We know that the formal solution is still the same. y is still plus minus square root of 1 minus x squared. However, there is a difference between these two lines. In the first line, 1 minus x squared, which is the thing inside the square root, is a positive number, or is 0. Therefore, y will be a real number. Whereas in the second line, y minus x squared is a negative number. Therefore, y will become purely imaginary. And by writing out this purely imaginary number explicitly, we see that in this case, y is plus minus square root of x squared minus 1 times i, where i is the square root of minus 1. To visualize this, we can apparently set up a 3D coordinate system with three axes, x, the real part of y, and the imaginary part of y. When x is between minus 1 and 1, y is real, so we draw on the plane of x and the real part of y, which is horizontal in our graph. This plot is our usual circle y equals plus minus square root of 1 minus x squared. When x is smaller than minus 1 or bigger than 1, y is imaginary. So we draw on the plane of x and the imaginary part of y, which is the plane vertical in our graph. These lines correspond to plus minus square root of x squared minus 1, which is the imaginary part of y. So vertical, horizontal, and vertical. This is solution of all x and y when x is real and y is complex. Of course, my drawing is ugly, so I have also drawn a Mathematica, which also shows the feature vertical, horizontal, vertical. You may ask, what's exactly the curve outside of our usual circle? that are C-shaped. By looking closely at the equation of this part, which is x squared minus the square of the imaginary part of y equals 1, we know that it's a hyperbola in analytical geometry. You may want to guess or calculate the asymptotic lines of this hyperbola. Having studied the case of x being a real number, you may wonder the next step what if we allow x and y to be both complex numbers? Now, because both x and y have real and imaginary parts, the solution will be something that can only be completely described in four dimensions. 
Because we live in three dimensions, we can project the solution onto 3D by selecting three out of the four variables. Real part of X, imaginary part of X, real part of Y, and imaginary part of Y. So here are the plots. On the left, we show real and imaginary part of X and the real part of Y. On the right, we show real and imaginary part of X and the imaginary part of Y. Did you imagine that a circle can be so beautiful when it's complexified? So here are the conclusions. Firstly, the notion of complexification. Roughly speaking, complexification is the solution of a geometrically relevant function, for example, that of a circle in the field of complex numbers. And secondly, I hope you remember that a hyperbolic structure appears in the complexification of a circle. Thank you for listening to the boring lecture. I am Hannah, the boring lecturer. See you next time.